Hey everyone, Joe here. Well, today I got another small gear review for you. And what I have here is the newer professional E-Type Speedlight Bracket. Now, like I said, this is a small review, but there's actually two reviews in one. It's cause the actual cold shoe on top, you can actually purchase separately. So I thought, you know, I'd put these together, make a nice little review. Now, everybody's always looking for some quality brackets and stuff, and tell you what, there's a lot of stuff on Amazon. Just got to watch for because this isn't really not that great or just really expensive. I think this is one of these uh, items that's not too expensive, priced about right, but it gets you get pretty decent quality here. Anyway, this is a all uh, metal and ABS uh, construction. The ABS plastic parts are the knobs and the little lock screw here and uh i'll explain that little lock washer thing in a minute and of course the little knobs here and of course there's metal screws in it it's pretty much all aluminum and it also comes with this nice little stand bracket uh, adapter here now i like these these are aluminum you can tell mine's got some scratches on it where i've tightened down on it a few times has uh the three ace threads on one side and the quarter 20 threads on the other so you can flip it over and kind of mount it to your uh either like uh i actually use this the three ace right here is really good at mounting to my uh monopod that i used i could actually convert it over put one of these over here and an umbrella outdoors and, and you know help take photos and stuff of course you can also flip it over the quarter thread and mount to pretty much any uh tripod bracket so if you get camera on your tripod you don't have a light stand with you to go with this now uh like i mentioned it's two products in one the actual cold shoe over here actually screws off it has a quarter th uh, 20 thread in it like i said you can purchase these separately I think about like five of these are currently going for about nine or ten dollars on amazon price varies a little bit but they're normally around 10 bucks or a little less and i really do like these i bought like uh i think i bought like 10 of these two packs of them because you can screw these down on any like regular tripod. It's got a quarter 20 on the end of it. And that eliminates needing this if you don't need to. So it's very convenient. So that was always a huge plus. Now I like these. They do fit good, especially with my young new flashes. The little metal screws here, I wouldn't over tighten. But I do snug mine up. You know, get my go to uh, use a screwdriver if, if you really want to. Most of us will just use a little coin, like this little peso here, or nickel, or penny. You don't need to tighten it down too much. Yeah, it tightens in pretty good. Now, got that same type of screw right here for your umbrellas. Tighten it down. Of course, you shouldn't tighten those down that tight anyway. Just run these down, finger snug. The little thumb uh, plastic. ABS, uh, I guess you call it a lock washer. It's technically not a lock washer. I just don't know what the proper name would be called for this. You can tighten it down and position that any direction you want it to. So if you're, for example, if in the normal position, you bolt it up and you're wanting to fire the flash, but cameras on this side and you're using like a wireless, uh, not wireless, excuse me, optical slave, you can position it to where it's getting an angle. So you can actually turn it around. That's always a huge plus. Now I have seen others on Amazon that actually have an aluminum one. I really wish they would have put an aluminum one on here. Uh, but for $9, I think for this normal bracket, you really can't complain. I think it's maybe $9, $10. Now, construction wise, is actually pretty good. There are teeth between that lock this in so you put it in position you want make sure the teeth fall into the groove and you just run this up it's got a little spring that kind of pushes the both uh sections together and you don't have to tighten it tight so i wouldn't be worried about this bit of plastic whatsoever because you should never be tightening it that tight that it actually breaks it so like i can see loosen it just a little bit it's kind of like a little teeth so when they change, you have to actually pull it out of the teeth. So if you run it down, you don't have to run it down tight. Just run it down until it stops. 
you would actually have to shred the teeth off before it actually stripped. So overall, it's not bad. I really do like these for the simple, I can move this around, take them off. And if they do happen to break, whatever thing or replacement. So anyway, highly recommended. Uh, I think it's probably one of the better ones on Amazon and stuff. I know there are some more expensive ones, but in this price range, it's probably one of the best ones you could possibly get. Anyway, that's it for this quick gear review. I uh, hope everybody likes this product uh, as much as I do. I think it's really good for the price. And if you like this video, how about a thumbs up? Thumbs up so it's highly appreciated. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, be sure to subscribe. Subscribe is free. It's for you. I'll let you know when I release more videos. Until next time, everyone. Thank you for watching.